What's up guys, Shane Starnes here and I just received my Galaxy Note 10 Plus in the mail today. I'll be unboxing that and setting that up and providing lots of content on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. But what you guys keep asking me about, about the battery life on the Galaxy Note 10. So my Galaxy Note 10 Plus here comes with a 4,300 behemoth giant milliamp hour battery. While the Note 10 comes with a measly uh, minuscule 3,600 milliamp hour battery. So I think it's important that we go over the settings that I've used for the past three days on this phone. I've had the always on display turned on, so if I've not been using my phone, the always on display has been on at all times. I've also had adaptive brightness turned on. So adaptive brightness has been turned on. So that just means that the screen has adapted to the lighting that's around me. If I've been outside, which I'm outside most of my day, the screen is brighter. When I'm inside, the screen is less bright. And then the only other change that I've made is I do have a dark wallpaper and I do have dark mode turned on, which can consume less battery since the OLED panel actually turns off pixels that aren't being used. This is going to be my in-depth battery life review on the standard Galaxy Note 10 after three days of use. As you can see, it is 9.43 in the evening here. I've still got 21% battery left. That doesn't tell the full story. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my screenshots where I've been following my battery life uh, over the past three days. So I'll go into my gallery and... We started on August 19th. August 19th, about 9 a.m., I still had 89% battery left. And at 9.01, I had been using the screen for about 46 minutes. My phone had been unplugged from the power source at about 6.45 that day. As you can see here, um, at 9 o'clock a.m., I had about 89% battery life. And then you can see 46 minutes of that was screen on time and the always on display had been on for about an hour and a half and it already consumed 1% of my battery life while my screen in 46 minutes had consumed about 3% of the battery life. By 11.49 in that day, I was at 75% battery life with an estimated battery life of 18 hours and 47 minutes. If we go into the battery usage, I had been off charge for five hours and had one hour and 15 minutes of screen time, which is not terrible for a 3,600 milliamp hour battery. My always on display had consumed about 2% of my battery. And you can see the other applications that I had used at this point. I used YouTube for 20 minutes. I was on Twitter and Facebook for a few minutes here and there. All right, so by about three o'clock in the afternoon, I was down to 50% battery, so still respectable, but we need to go into the battery usage. I had only used two and a half hours of screen on time. One of those hours was spent on YouTube, and the always on display at this point had consumed 3% of my battery life. Once again, about 22 minutes on Facebook, 19 minutes on Twitter did not consume a whole lot of battery there. By six o'clock on the first day, I was already down to 19%. So where I'm used to having the OnePlus 7 Pro uh, be at 35% at 10.30 in the evening and me never having to worry about battery life, I was already under 20% at six o'clock in the evening. I had only had three and a half hours of screen on time, about two hours of YouTube consumption there, and the always on display used about 4% of my battery life. I had about half an hour of each of Twitter and Facebook. All right, so I wrapped up my day at 10 o'clock in the evening with 1% battery remaining. I had a screen on time of almost, but not quite five hours. And YouTube was three and a half hours of YouTube consumption, always on display, only used 6% for the entire day. And you can see the other apps that were used. Yesterday, I remembered to start tracking the battery at about uh, 12.43 in the afternoon. I still had 71% battery left and I had my screen on for about one hour. So I was at 70%, so about 30% drainage with one hour of screen on time. Always on display, had consumed about 2% of battery and I had used my YouTube music app to stream music uh, with the screen off for about 14 minutes. Jumping forward to 1.46 in the afternoon, I was already down to 58% battery life. My screen on time was at almost two hours uh, with two hours of use on YouTube. Some of that was streaming content without the screen turned on. 
So I was able to get almost three hours of YouTube streaming. Um, once again, a lot of that was with the screen turned off HBO Go. I used for about 30 minutes. My always on display here had consumed 2% of my battery. Uh, by the time it was at 58% battery and you can see the rest of the usage there. Yesterday I made the realization that I was gonna have to really kind of use my phone a little less often after about three o'clock in the afternoon to conserve my battery. So I realized, hey, if I want this phone to last all day, I better start conserving the battery life. That's something that I didn't have to worry about with the S10 Plus. It's something I didn't have to worry about with the OnePlus 7 Pro, but I found myself on the Galaxy Note 10 having to kind of hold back from battery usage. So at 8.30, I was already at 11% battery life. I'd had about four hours of screen on time. Uh, four of those hours used uh, in YouTube, whether it be with a screen on or off, about an hour and a half at HBO Go, and my always on display had only used about 4% of my battery. By 10 o'clock in the evening, I was down to 1%, and I wasn't able to make it to the next screen to show you the amount of screen on time, but it was almost not quite five hours. It was at about four and a half hours, four hours and 45 minutes of screen on time, which is not terrible for a 3,600 milliamp hour battery. All right, so today I started my day off at eight o'clock with 99% battery. At this point, I had been off the charger for 33 minutes, but hadn't really used my phone. Uh, once again, just remember that I had decided that I'd have to be conservative with my battery. By about one o'clock in the afternoon, I was down to 62%. I had one and a half hours of screen on time at 62%. About an hour of that was on YouTube, 18 minutes on Twitter, about, let's see here, 2% was used for the always on display at about seven minutes in Facebook. At 8.30 this evening, I was down to 24%. Keeping in mind that I've been using my phone conservatively, I've not really used it a whole lot during today. My screen on time was about three hours with 24% remaining. Three hours of that was YouTube time. Most of that was streaming with the screen turned off. Always on display was at 5% and about 15 minutes of Facebook, 29 minutes of Twitter. All right, so at 9.51, we're down to 20%. If I go into my settings and I go down to my device care and battery. We'll see that my estimated battery life from this point forward is three hours and 18 minutes. We go into battery usage. I've had my screen on for three hours and 21 minutes, three hours of YouTube usage, 6% of always on display, about half an hour of Twitter and 15 minutes of Facebook. So I should be able to get to about four to four and a half hours of screen on time with this phone. So it's my opinion, that if you do go with a Note 10, you're going to get a much more comfortable, smaller form factor in the phone at the expense of battery life. So the Note 10 Plus with a much larger battery is going to easily get you throughout the day. You're not going to have to conserve your battery like you do with the Note 10. Even phones like the OnePlus 7 Pro or the Galaxy S10 Plus don't require you to be as conservative with your battery life. Anyhow, guys, that about wraps it up. For this video, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more coverage on the Note 10 and Note 10 Plus. Thanks, guys, for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.